This is our room at the Aventura Resort um, here in Orlando Universal Resorts. This is a standard room with two queen beds. So I guess I'll start with the bathroom. So we've got a single sink. I do prefer two, two sinks, but a double sink, but you know, it's just for a few days. So a single sink is just fine. Nice and clean and white. We've got soap here, hand towels and stuff, extra cups, a hair dryer, some spare toilet paper. And here is, where's the light here? A uh, shower and of course the toilet. A little hook here. I like the look of that. And here is a closet. I keep thinking it's a sliding closet and it isn't. <laughs> it opens right up. Spare towels, or not towels, uh, bedding up there. Iron, ironing board. Lots of room in here, which is nice. There is a full length mirror right by the door for um, entry into the unit. Um, coffee maker, a Cuisinart mini fridge underneath that. And then above it is more storage and a safe. I like the amount of storage there is in the unit. It's nice. And then we have a little desk kind of area. So this is, does this pop up? There we go. <laughs> Outlets here. And then a uh, thermostat, television, more space. Are these drawers open? Are there stores, Jim? Oh, they are? Yeah. I wasn't sure if this big one did or not. So, dresser drawers. I'm sure that. <laughs> like, wow. There we go. <laughs> uh, beds. And then the uh, TV is controlled. I'm not quite sure what this is. It's a speaker and a light or just a light is it a speaker i don't know it looks like one there's a usb yeah board. i bet yeah and then here you control the television and your lights and you can make dining reservations and all that jazz on uh this tablet in the room and of course there are drawers and let's just pop out or go out this way? Or is that just looks? It might be just, just looks. Just looks. <laughs> okay. Uh, and then we've got just a little single chair here, another light that looks like a speaker. Yeah, I think that's a, <laughs> it's just, that's a very, just um, a snazzy light. Yeah. And here's our view, which, uh, you know, a little lake. There's the pool down there. You can see Volcano Bay back there. You can see the northbound I-4 you, traffic. Uh, yeah, woo. It's rush hour after all. Yeah. So that's our room, and you know I like the look of it. It's nice and clean. And yeah, uh, yeah I would say that I stay in a lot of uh, five-star hotels. This is. It's got what you need, and it's ones. put it's put together nice, and it's got a lot of enough space for accommodating four people. There's only two of us, and so there's plenty, more than enough. And if there were four, there's the closet's a good size. Again, there's more additional, you know, storage above the coffee maker. Um, yeah, no, oh, it's, it's a nice hotel. And we really like how close it is to Volcano Bay because that's really where we're going to be spending most of our time probably is at the water park and you can walk to it. And we'll show you guys later how you can uh, walk to it from this hotel. We're up on the roof now of the Aventura, looking down at Sapphire Falls, and back here is, uh, behind that is uh, Islands of Adventure and uh, Universal Studios. Then we got, over here's Cabana Bay. Let me see if I can get, get over a little bit. Yeah. So this is at the, on the very top, on the 17th floor of uh, the Aventura, where um, the bar, what's it called? Bar, it's Bar and Bistro, or Bar and Bistro. Well, I'll, I'll double check, we'll go through the entrance so I can actually tell you guys what the name of the bar is that's up top here. There's more of Cabana Bay and Volcano Bay. So we're standing on the other side. So yeah, we're on the left of this. Our room's on the left of this. We can basically see like the entrance to Volcano Bay, but we don't quite see the actual park from my room. 
Okay, from the elevators, here is the entrance to, I guess it's called 17 Bar Bistro, or it's, or it's Bar Bistro 17, whichever, I guess. <laughs> This is the view, kind of, from our room, right here. So we're standing about above our room. Our room's on the 11th floor, and this is the 17th floor, so. I don't know what kind of stuff they have here. Do we see any menu? I mean, I assume they have some, it says bar and beast. it's a bistro, so that's to be food. That's just... Cocktails. Yeah, those, those are drink menu. This is a drink menu. Can you hold it? Yeah, like open it, sweetie. <laughs> so there's like frozen drinks and cocktails. I like it when there's cocktail menus because I'm not into beer or wine. It's nice. Oh, and there's mocktails. It's nice. Okay, so they have bow here, which is really exciting. And then uh, rice and noodles, and then like cheese boards, and they have grilled Spanish octopus. I think we're gonna have dinner here, or we're gonna we're gonna try to. Um, as long as it's not too busy, it's a little early still. Looks pretty. This is the size fitness center on the second floor. Mm. Really. It's a really nice one too. Yeah, it's not like really just this one. It's not really uh, small. Like, yeah, usually a lot of hotels they're about half the size. This is like almost a full gym. Uh, well, I mean, there's mirrors to make it look kind of bigger, but but it has a lot of lots of equipment. Way, lots of different nice machines and enough uh, treadmills for. Yeah. And then there's lockers, restrooms, like right next to it. Okay, it says VR game room. I don't know if that means like everything. Everything's virtual reality. We're gonna find out. Oh, uh, we were just curious what this was. <laughs> VR room, virtual reality, it's pretty cool. Uh, it's like an arcade, but with a virtual reality twist, so you can just put on the headset. Oh. It's a lot of fun. It is $10 plus tax for five minutes. Okay. It's pretty cool. Yeah. We are open from 2 to 10, so of course you guys are just checking it out here. Yeah. All right, cool. Thanks so much. Thank you. Yeah, that's neat. Well, that answers that. That's different. Yeah. Huh. So here's the main entrance and check in. Baggage claim is on the left. They were really, really prompt when we needed to get our luggage. Check-in was a little long, but um, the luggage was super fast. The vacation planning, so this is where we bought like our express passes and stuff for uh, Halloween Horror Nights. And then there's a Universal store right next to it, so why don't we go in there and see what, what fun things are for sale. We got Harry Potter right off the bat. I'm not a Harry Potter fan, so none of this is all that exciting to me, but I, I know lots of people who would have a hard time deciding what to buy. It seems like really good quality stuff too. Looks really well made. So wands. Wands, 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 wands. Gosh, even more. It keeps going. Hi, how's it going? Hi, good. Look at these little fuzzy thingies. I don't know what you are, but you're cute. You can also get a duffel bag. Oh, they got like everything. For your Gryffindor team. Mm -hmm. Jimmy wants an owl. You want to get an owl, Jim? Um, I think that's a bag. Is it? Cause, no, this one. Because he's like, yeah. Oh, yeah. He is a bag. <laughs> Wear one on your back. Yeah, here's some Halloween Horror Night stuff. Lots and lots of Stranger Things merchandise this year, which makes sense. It's sort of like the house everyone talks about but personally i would i mean the only thing i saw poltergeist on was literally like the main shirt you know a little but i would have loved to have just a poltergeist shirt 
Yeah, um, for Stranger Things, the line yesterday for the Stranger Things house was two hours. Oh, I like those shot glass though. I might want to get this. Let's see, this has the IPs that I really like on it. It's got Poltergeist, oh, get fuzzy. It's got um, Halloween and it's got Trick or Treat on it. That's cool. That's Sam. Yeah. I actually think I might get the shot glass. Michael. Or like two of them. So I'll be like, Lane, look what I got us. Yeah. My sister. <laughs> like, got us matching Halloween Horror Night shot glasses. Yeah, I like this. This is cool. 10 bucks each. And it's not that I don't like Stranger Things. I love Stranger Things. It's just um, the lanyard, too, this year is all, it's all Stranger Things instead of showing all the different IPs or. It's just, it's just a Stranger Things lanyard, essentially. So, I don't know, I just wasn't... Wasn't digging all the Stranger Things merchandise. Happy for all of those who are stoked for it, though. Though, I forgot this station. Or, I broke this and need another one, or whatever. You know, your little daily essential station. His mouth probably moves better. And then resort stuff. Sleep like where something says you stayed here. And mugs. Actually, these are kind of nice. Nice grip on the bottom. They're big. Maybe I'm just used to looking at the kids' size ones. So that seems big to me. <laughs> That's probably it. Well, this is on the bigger side. Yeah, it's got a nice... Got a nice grip. Yeah, it's nice. Um, <clears throat> Which is it? 30 bucks. Well, the niceness is reflected in the price. Hello Kitty pins. And pins of everything else. So that's the gift shop, which I know changes out what they have in here. You know, obviously rotates. Obviously, they will not be having Halloween Horror Nights merchandise out in, you know, December. <laughs> Starbucks. Got a really nice size Starbucks here with seating. Got like a community table here. And some little individual tables. Behind it is another little bar that opens in the early evening. Oh, it's just, it's just called Bar Ventura. More seating. It looks, for the most part, a fairly um, full. Yeah, it's got it's a full Starbucks. It's got everything: hot chocolate and the seasonal stuff and food. So the mugs and everything too. I'm gonna walk a little closer up to that little bar over here on the side. I'll show you some of the seating. There's the bar, Ventura. And additional seating over here. Kind of hard with the lighting, I'm trying to. There we go. And then over here is the urban pantry, which is basically a, a food court, but a really nice food court. I like sushi over here. There's grab and go stuff too, like kind of all around. So here's the grab and go the sushi place. Spicy tuna. They've got wine. And they got stuff that uh, they have, um, they'll make fresh on the walk. And you select everything you want thrown in there. Oh, they got tofu. Then we got a burger place, which if I remember correctly, has the Impossible Burger. Uh, it does. So you can get a, yourself a burger minus the cow. <laughs> got fresh fruit over here. More grab and go. I actually got a salad out of here 
yesterday and uh, it was very good, very fresh. They didn't have, like right now, there's a ton of dressings and they didn't have that the other day. They had just like one type and I didn't even know, couldn't tell what it was. So I just went up to the counter right next to it and asked if I could get um, some blue cheese and, and they scooped some up for me. So if they only have one type of salad dressing in there, just ask. Just eating. This one is, this Jimmy ate here the other day, this roast, roast kitchen, he got the um, uh, beef rib. And he liked it a lot. He got lots of fish and chicken and salad and beef. More seating. And they have the refill stations here for drinks, the freestyle machines. Oh yeah, I forgot this gelato. Ooh, passion fruit gelato. These brownies look good too. And then there's a pizza place. Anyway, the whole time we've been here, it's never been too busy in here. There's always been seating. And it's right, well most of it has a view of the pool area or the entrance to Volcano Bay if you're along the wall. It's a nice little, nice little food court. And there's also some outside seating too for the um, urban pantry dining right by the pool. Kind of windy out here, so hopefully you guys can still hear me between the, the wind and the music playing. So it's kind of cool because it sort of wraps around. It looks like it's a lot smaller than it really is when you first walk up, but it goes around the corner. Oh, there's freestyle machines out here too. They're right there. There's a bar out here, lots of seating. And yeah, the pool wraps back around. So it's actually a pretty good sized pool. And honestly, it doesn't really need to be any bigger because this resort isn't huge, so. And then um, access to, um, a walkway to, oh my gosh, why am I drawing a blank on the, on the Volcano Bay? <laughs> it's like something bay is through here too. So you can walk, which I really like. So splash pad area. There's a lot of, oh no, is it doing that again? Oh yay, we had some trouble with our key cards earlier where they wouldn't let us into the pool for some reason. We got it all sorted out. A little splash pad. And then, um, How are you guys? Good, and then right through here, if you go out these doors, it'll take you to Volcano Bay. And this little sign letting you know as such. Just walk out, make a left. That's a look at um, Universal's Aventura Hotel. Uh, we like it. Uh, our only real complaint is that the beds are too firm for us. That's obviously uh, only an issue if you don't like a firm mattress, and we don't. So we're a little, <laughs> we're a little rough <laughs> after sleeping four nights here. Um, but for people who like a firm mattress, then this place is great. <laughs> uh, we um, like the size of the room. We like all the storage in the room. We love that you can walk to Volcano Bay. Um, since we did actually spend more time there than we did any of the, the other two amusement, other than Halloween Horror Nights, we spent a lot of time in the studios for Horror Nights, but we didn't really spend a lot of time in the other two parks for this stay. It was mainly Volcano Bay. So being able to walk was a huge plus for us. The a shower is nice and big. Um, that's another thing we really liked. Uh, and the staff is super nice. 
so I mean I don't really have any serious complaints I didn't expect to um, just a minor one the the mattresses are just not to our liking and one other little very little thing <laughs> so the tag for the comforter uh, they're like in the dead center of like the top of the of the comforter instead of in the bat at the bottom where your feet would be it's where your head would be and Jim and I thought that the, the comforters were just put on wrong like the back was put on the front and you know they switched around so we went to pull up our comforters to switch it and realized no that it's they were put on right housekeeping did their job as they as they were supposed to um, they didn't give up they just the tags are just literally pulled this up so you can see they're just literally in the middle um, where, where your heads go <laughs> so I would recommend that Aventura cut those off <laughs> because I would wake up with like because a tag like got me in the nose and it's just kind of strange that the tags were there and um, and we know they're in the right place because the way that these uh, this bedding is done is this is the, the, the bottom so it's yeah so they were put on correctly they just put the tags in an unusual place and so that so I guess the only other issues are with the beds <laughs> like the, the the bedding itself with the strange tag placements and then the mattress that's our only complaint everything else is fantastic I, I it's a super convenient hotel I love the urban pantry really really easy to um, get your food and lots of options for pretty much any palette uh, and it's, it's not a massive sprawling resort, which is nice. It's nice to be able to know that it's going to be easy to get to pool. It's going to be easy to get to transportation. It's going to be easy to get food. It's not a long hike to anything, um, which you don't, you can be walking around the, in the parks all day. Why do you want to be trekking around the resort too? You don't. So I'm going to give this resort, not that I normally rate anything, but I'll, I'll say, f I'm not going to rate it. <laughs> That's okay. I feel bad. I don't want to grade anything. I'm not a teacher. It's a good resort. If, as long as you're okay with a firm mattress. There. Good. <laughs> or if you're only staying a night or two. Because a night or two is fine. You know, on a firm mattress for me. But more than that, and I'm starting to feel it too much everywhere. And we stayed a little longer than I guess we should have. But um, that's all I have to say about the resort. Thank you guys for watching. Till next time.